Okay guys, this is my first video I'm doing of a new series that I call Rust Quickies, where I try to keep everything under 4 minutes and show you practical examples of how to use the new electricity system. Today's episode... Automatic Focus. Step 1, make the boathouse. Step 2, get a boat. Ah shit. Step two, get a boat. Step three is to place your solar panels. So go ahead and do that. Make sure you have one facing each direction so you have maximum coverage of the sun. Now you're gonna place seven power combiners down, just like this. And get out your wire tool and just start connecting everything together. Then just go ahead and connect the power combiners to the power combiners. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna go downstairs. You want to get these items ready: splitter, uh, blocker, electrical branch switch, door controller, XOR switch, and two laser detectors. And place them all first, and then connect everything together. Alright, so first we're going to connect the splitter to the blocker, branch, and the lasers inside. So let's do the laser first. And the out's just going to go to the explorer gate. And the second uh, power outlet from the splitter is going to go down to this branch. The third one is going to the locker. Alright, and now we're going to connect the small branch out to the switch because it doesn't require that much power. And the output of the switch to the blocker. And then this blocker has got to be connected to the laser outside. Try to run that the best we can. Power out's gonna go to uh, the XOR switch. Now connect the power out of the XOR gate to the door controller. Make sure the door is unlocked. So you can repair it. There we go, now it's paired. Now we have to power the whole thing, so let's head back to the roof. Grab the power out, and just place it something like this, uh, about on the roof right there, so when you come down here, um, it'll just pretty much go straight to the splitter. Plug that in. Alright. I did leave this branch here open, so you could uh, connect it to something like lights if you wanted to. First we have to close it. And I'll show you what the switch is here for. So when it's red, you'll always be able to open it from the inside. Or when it's red, that's what allows you to be able to pull your boat in and the doors just open automatically. Alright. 
but when it's green, that's like the uh, the lock mode, if you will. So you can, you know, once again, open it from the inside. But you should not be able to open it from the outside. 